in the past, I've done a lot of tutorials where I've quickly just applied one of my digital film action presets to edit a photo and then have gone ahead and shown you more specific ways to edit a photo in Lightroom. Um, today, I thought I would edit a photo from scratch without using any of my presets and show you my thought process behind editing a photo. Today, specifically, I'd like to share with you how I edit white balance, tone, sharpening, how I use lens correction and graduated filters to edit a photo. So here we have my sister at Mount Rainier National Park in Washington, and it is such a beautiful place. We took about a million photos while we were there. <laughs> and while we were taking this photo, it was very sunny and a cloud just so happened to come past in the sky. And we ended up with this image that I really love of her, but it is quite dark and it turned out quite blue compared to the rest of the photos that we were taking in this spot. So I thought I'd just go through and edit it and show you what I do. So the first thing that I notice is that the, em that the image is really dark overall. So I'm going to bring up my exposure. Now, when I do that, I'm starting to notice that there is a very blue and green cast across the entire image. So I'm going to go and bring up my temperature a little bit and then bring up my tint to more of the pink side. So that's looking a little more natural and balanced already. It might be a little bit too much pink. That's better. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is play around with my tone a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring down the blacks so we can get a little more contrast in the image and bring up the shadows as well so we get a little more detail in the trees. Now, we've seemed to have lost a lot of the sky in this photo since we brought up the exposure. So I'm gonna try bringing down the highlights, which I think saves the image quite nicely. There's actually a lot more detail now in the after <laughs> than there is in the original too, just by bringing down the highlights. Um, if you don't wanna do that, you could also use a graduated filter to bring back some detail in the sky. So all you do is just drag it across the area where you want it. Um, the graduated filter sort of works that it kind of ends here at the middle line and then this third line here is where it the fade of the filter ends. So I like to make it nice and long, just about there. If it's really short, you can see a very defined line of the filter, but if you drag it out, it's it gets softer, so it looks more natural. So I'm going to bring down oops, the exposure just a little bit and then bring down the highlights. Now, as you can see, the problem with using a graduated filter on the sky is that anything else, such as the trees in this case, will also be affected by the filter. So I'm going to bring up the shadows to try and save that a little bit. And I think that's good. Let's have a look at a before and after. I think that works out really well. I actually think the graduated filter looks a lot more natural than when we just brought down um, the highlights of the image too. And if you wanna get really exaggerated with the sky, you can also bring down the highlights on top of the graduated filter, but we're just gonna leave it with the filter for now because I think that looks really nice. The next thing that is catching my eye in this, in this photo is the edges are very, very dark. And that's because I was shooting on a Canon 35mm lens. And the wider the lens, the more vignetting is caused in your photos. So we're going to use the lens correction to fix that up. Um, I normally just do it automatically and I just let Lightroom do its thing. It selects um, from my metadata, it knows what lens I've used, so it automatically puts it in, but then you can also manually choose what lens you were using. So Lightroom does a pretty good job at cleaning up vignetting. However, sometimes I think it goes a little bit overboard. So I like to bring it down just a little bit to about 50 to make it look more natural. So it still gets rid of it, but not as harsh as it does um, automatically. The next thing that I like to focus on in an image is the sharpening. And honestly, I personally just love to bring the sharpening right up. <laughs> and I always do this little pattern when I'm editing. And I think it just makes the image nice and crisp. 
So looking at the photo, I think we've done quite a lot of adjustments to make it look very like flat and neutral. Um, so now we're going to continue working on it and tweaking it a little bit until we're happy with the finished product. So I'm actually going to use a tone curve and, oops, oh my god, okay, <laughs> and give it a slight S curve because I love editing my photos that way. It gives it like a little, kind of like a filmy like finish and I like to bring the highlights down a little bit. Perfect. Now, in my opinion, the image is looking too bright now, so I'm going to bring down the exposure again and bring down the blacks and bring down the highlights a little bit too because the sky got a little bit overexposed when we did the tonal curve. Perfect. So the next thing now that's catching my eye is this whole dirt pathway is way too bright in my opinion. It's too overexposed. So I'm going to go into HSL and go to luminance, which means the brightness and darkness of a color. And I'm going to see if this might fix it up. So I'll try yellow because it looks yellow. And bring that down a little bit. And try, I might bring the orange up to make my sister stand out a little bit more. Um, another trick you can do is actually click this little tool and any color that you want to change say let's we want to change blue you can make that brighter or darker just by clicking and dragging so i think i'm going to use another graduated filter and bring it across this section here and bring down the highlights and the exposure just a little bit perfect and then once again, I'm gonna bring my exposure back up. And I think we are done. For me, editing a photo is just all about tweaking things slowly um, and continuously working on um, the same things kind of over and over again, but in different orders. So if you fix up the white balance, sometimes you'll notice that the exposure changes and it might need to be brighter or darker. And then when you change the exposure, you might notice that something in the image in particular stands out a little more than it did before. So you just sort of have to go back and forth while you're editing um, until you arrive at like a spot in your editing process that you're happy with how the final image looks. Um, might actually, after looking at it a little bit longer, bring up the temperature a little bit more and the tint by five points as well. All right, now I'm happy with the image. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something from this process. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you guys later. Bye.